the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come into this one fresh off a of victory that finally snapped a six-game losing streak. And there's yeah, nothing like that win that makes everyone happier in the locker room, better on the practice field, and they usually play a whole lot better that next game out as well. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Cowboys, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. So that's the ratio you say you're okay with. If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. Behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have a broken game. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And again, he's going to be stopped up here at the line of scrimmage. Taken down right at the line of scrimmage. Calling their gain on the run there. He'll be looking at a third down. It's third and ten. On third down. Left side here to Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's good. 14 yards there on an eagle first down. First and 10. That's something that's to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. To Miles Sanders. No gain on the screen there. He's it's second above. down. Behind the line of screen. And the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line. So it's second and ten. He'll get this into the hands of Travis Fulgham. Nice be out just a yard or two shot of the third. 16 yards, a first down. Line scrimmage in the 31-yard first, first and 10. <laughs> Wentz on the give to Sanders. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Late second and 10 coming out. No As usual, the hallmark of a good run Second defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. There's really no order run there. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back Second. at the 39 yard line. By Marcus Lawrence. Enough to and start out a good drive. Right like play. the big loss out of Sam does it. Third well, down. now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. 
Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. But if you got me in coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And this won't get there. It's no good. Nothing. Off to the right, and this will remain a scoreless game. It was a kicker from that distance, 56, 57 yards. So many things you got to worry about, but I am a little surprised he didn't get it there. Yeah, with the way kickers are nowadays, we're surprised anything under 65 that it doesn't get at least to the cross bar. But remember this, you have to drive it a little bit lower in order to make that distance, and you also have to be worried about the interior rush that they can get their hands on it. So that's why those stronger kickers nowadays can pop it up in the air and still travel and carry it. That's who you're looking for. Numbers for Zeke from last week. 17 carries, 81 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game when the coach didn't talk about establishing the run first. But they've lost two straight games, so they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run a little bit more later in the game. The three yards is half of what they need, and now can they get the other three here on third down? And it's third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Run picked off by Randy McLeod. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Boy, Brandon, that's what I call those guys pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. Wants to throw on second and eleven yard line. There's the former quarterback, Greg Ward Jr. And he's able to get this one. That's good. We're going to try to get him the ball. Let him run on the last play. But I think the first and ten. And the thirty-three yard line. And this time. They get it to the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Carson wins. There for the sack, sack. Everson, Griffin. Everson Griffin. Okay, was it a Tackled breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? It doesn't really matter. Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. A great time sack. It's a second down run with Sanders. This will go for five to the to the field field. Sanders. Leighton Vander and Sean Campbell. They have to feel pretty good about five. getting that type of a game Third considering the blitz they just had against them. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And it'll be out of bounds to shy of the 40. That's good. So the defense Run. blitz. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. First down. Yeah, that's a 41 yard line. back in the center on that play. They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from it. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. And the Cowboys pressure gets the there this time for the sack. sack. Leighton Vander Esch wreaking havoc with the sack. Are you yard seeing line. what I'm seeing? That's three sacks now, and this team came into the game in the bottom five in the league in sacks. Yeah, this What's is going not, on? It's not been their bread and butter. I don't know. Is a blind score finding a nut, or is this something they can build on? Well, they found some momentum. They found some momentum. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Yard line. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. The numbers for Sanders last week. 15 carries, 67 yards. He's the number two runner in the league, and you just know the offensive line wants to get him to number one because most of the good ball carriers, they take care of their line. Could be a goal to watch in their future. If he Good for an Eagles. Uh, that one in there, it will make connections. 
Oh, oh, nice in round. Yeah, that was 15 yard line. This is going to go in that fast. Any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. That's the end pops of the first quarter. The defenders to grab as no well. Score. A good point there is they were able to connect. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Twins. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Travis Fulgham. His first touchdown of the year. As his guys are on the board first here tonight. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So it was the first quarter of feeling out process. I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action. We had some good play. Just didn't have any points. Jake so Elliott now, on it's game on. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. Oh, I was just about to say he has missed an extra point all no season, good. but there it is. His first miss, no good. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. So with a missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And out a little across the 25 and the 27. Oh, the, return. the Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 27. The Dallas back out onto the field. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball. Without He's it being too exotic. I mean, you don't have to go deep a down the field. Maybe hit them on the short passes four. on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner. Press and shot. get it's out of the way. Ezekiel don't Elliott. cause any extra stress He's on your offense. He's brought down at the 37-yard line. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and inches. Third and short yardage. Prescott connects here with a tight end, Blake Jarwin. The 20. And he'll get this inside of Philly's 20 before being taken down. It's a big play there on third down. And the 45 yards. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they have been seeking. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Prescott. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked Prescott away and incomplete. Blake Jarwin, the Jarwin. intended receiver. And now it's second down. It leads to second down. Yeah, all the time I'm manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Flush to his right. And he will oh, score. Touchdown, Prescott on Cowboys. The touchdown, Dak Dallas. Prescott with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Cowboys are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good he just decided to make a play of his own and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? But I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Red now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. point. He's got it, and they the take the lead at 7-6. to six. Make The drive summary that time is a lot plays. Eagles and a six. nice play on the end of it. An 18-yard touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken about 7 yards deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. 20-yard line. It's time for our player spotlight right now as we get a look at Carson Wentz. 
And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming, and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with a quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. And he'll get about six up to the 27 yards. The ball carrier. Tyrone Even Crawford though they gave up more than they wanted to on that it's play, it actually six. illustrates how Brings they bottled them up throughout four. the game because At that was as long as one of this contest. And that'll be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read covered. that you had. Maybe Man you get it in pre-snap and he locked in Brings on his target, but he was covered four. quite well. And that one's incomplete. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, Wins but couldn't pass. pick it. Cameron it's Johnson, not fourth down. Down. for the Eagles. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. A 39-yard punt Tony return on the return. And the Cowboys the will take over the football first with a and first ten. and ten. At their so own here are the Cowboys to take line. over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Prescott looks to throw on first. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Complete. First play of the drive, Jarwin. a success, 19 a yards. 19 yards. First down, Dallas. A first down carry by Elliott. They find some open field here. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Prescott sacked. A loss of We talk about players blitzing all the time. Second down. Often laugh and sometimes call just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely Let's goes go to the defensive player. Complete to see the getting lamb. 10 back as that sets him up for 10 yards. And the Cowboys third. on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Prescott from the gun. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's able to Prescott's pick up the bad. first down before he's tackled like right at the 10. First and goal. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Being chased out left. And the Cowboys are in the end zone for a touchdown. Touchdown, Dallas. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the, the deal. After. Give him credit for making it happen. And it's up. The kick it's good. good. Our score, 14 to Makes 6. The score a drive that time of six plays. And it six. was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped to the 23. At their own 23 yard Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't come to. They've got to shake Sanders things up a little bit to try to get this offense so How do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look yard. at what you called before and realize it has to do with something else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Only three it's yards a game on the three. catch. It brings up down. third and six. From the gun on third down, wins. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Sanders. And he Miles. gets it to the third there. Good enough for the first. For an Eagles. Give him six yards in the first down. First and ten at the 34 yard line. Here's first and ten. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. Not much there. Maybe a couple of dials. Sanders, the ball carrier. Brought down. I mean, we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now. 
My bad. We simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. But now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the third the Eagles. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this whole crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. Eight yards on the pick up the middle. They have some options on second and short. The 25-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. From the 25 on second down. Wentz. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's got another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Open man completes it to Butler. And he'll get nothing out of that one. Complete to Hakeem Butler. On the completion, second and ten. on the play. Second and ten. Throwing again on second down. Wentz. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be run down this time at the five-yard line. Eight yards in the completion, but now they bring third down. Third and two. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. That is Clark at the seven-yard line. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. The way you do for a quarterback sneak, you don't mind if your quarterback's a little bit on the vertically challenged side, do you? Because he's just going to hide behind his big guys up front and be able to surge forward and pick up the first down. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Side. Stephon Anthony came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. This will be caught just inside the 10. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They do get eight out of the pitch and catch. However, it's fourth down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. A 20 the yard left hand should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Elliott is good. The kick is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. Here's the score, Cowboys. Absolutely three days off. So heading into the break. Talk about situational football. Something they worked on since the OTAs and mini camps. Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. 
will begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte, where it was the visiting Falcons who were able to come away with the victory. Matt Ryan, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, let's head up to Cincinnati to check in on the Bengals at home at Paul Brown Stadium. And they were losers in that one as they fall to the visiting Tennessee Titans. Ryan Tannehill, four touchdown passes in the victory. And lastly, we'll wrap up the week on Monday Night Football. Definitely one to tune in for, as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New York Giants. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Forecast calling for more to say. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. At their own 28-yard line. Come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Wentz. Man open, it's Goodwin. Wentz is He'll be out of bounds after getting this from the ground. Goodwin. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. What they try to move when they run drag routes. Second day. Great to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. The ball carrier. They know that old expression. A yard. Not my night. Brings up third it hasn't been five. his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Yeah, every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on the court. Dallas Goddard. Incomplete. Normally being a big bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch take the hit and pick up yardage but in this case the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp and he couldn't get the it to check on that over kicks all the way to the end zone at their touchback yard line the cowboys offense now they head out for their first possession of the second half they were able to get the ball back here didn't surrender any points now they looked at it that lead the defense gave them going right out on the field shutting them down not giving up any points and turning the ball back over they want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points and to get a little more cushion so prescott and the cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. they'll hand it off to elliott to begin the drive fights forward for only about a yard Number 21, Ezekiel Elliott, the ball. Sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. The great job there at the point of attack. One yard the game. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second and nine now from the 21. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Throw left side, complete. That's Elliott. And he'll get this up to the 30 yard line. Ezekiel Elliott. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First down. One of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play. Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down, Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he'll be taken down, but Prescott not before they work it across midfield. The end result, of 21, 21 yards. yards. 
And the Cowboys. So Philadelphia territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 49 yard line. To throw is Prescott. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Intended to break free. His intended receiver. But it'll be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll throw again. Prescott. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. So after the INT, here's Wentz. To the goal line, the but it's an incomplete. is no good. That keeps the score Cowboys they the 17. To to it. They didn't Eagles get it. They were made down by two points. Jake Kelly to kick it off for Philadelphia. Okay with it. Maybe first or second. You don't? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, I keep coming back to... The Cowboys I take over the first and ten. That's their own 25-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously cost one. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what Ezekiel you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. But sometimes the defense makes a good play, a six too. six-yard pickup. I think up after that run, the defense four. getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? They go to Elliott again, and they see right through that defensively. Ezekiel as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming in. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty, but when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage, I believe. Prescott from the gun on third. This to Jarwin. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Pass. Complete. <laughs> Two points. 77 yards receiving for the ball game. Yards. And it's a first down. First down, Dallas. First down, it's Elliott. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled the ball carrier. Another nice game. That's now 40 yards line. between those last it's two plays. It's a game of 17 yards. So from Philadelphia first territory down, now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And a big turnover there as his guys will gain the full way back. When we get back. The Eagles take over first and ten at their own two-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just Number get out of the shadow of your own line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't he's see the field again. So he's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and, and make sure you move the ball to their territory. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Ball carrier. Give him three on the take run there. Down. Now they're looking at a third and about five. That's a gain of three. Now third and five. Shotgun now for Wentz. Sanders a first down, still going. And he'll finally be taken down at the 20 That's good. Given 22 here on the third down conversion. First down. Don't disturb the drive. Yeah. That aggressiveness. Firing it downfield right away. Nice job there getting out towards what would have been their normal starting position. Now left side on the swing pass. 
And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. And despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. You know, the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen. But then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Sanders, and he will have first down yardage as he's pulled down at the 31. That's good. What a fleeting time as the drive continues. First and ten. You bet. What do you want to do? Time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and power forward to get the first down. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and ten. They'll run, it's Sanders. And this time they were Sanders. waiting for it. He's going to be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think this running game, or should I say, lack of air, is making this defense look better than what they really are. Second and 11 now. Working from the gun, Lentz. Now he'll go deep down the middle. And that's going to be incomplete. Prince's pass. Good effort there trying to take a shot, Curtis but it's third down. Incomplete. Ninth play of the drive third coming up. And certainly and an easy one on third and all. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. So much about this game is just understanding the situation. And look at this. It's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. And special teams, they look like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. Ezekiel Elliott, the ball carrier. on first down. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. Second and seven. It's a pickup of three. to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What seven. you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game into the future and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try to keep going. And try to keep that lead down exactly. at the 31. Seven yards there seven. the first down. And the Cowboy first down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Eagles, 15. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now Elliott. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. With the give to Ezekiel Elliott. The recipe's pretty simple, I think. He was right? brought yeah, down to the superstar yard line. Continue to feed him. A three-yard yeah, pickup. Don't really think this way, right? Make second sure he's touching seven. the football. But you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there. Get the 39. Brandon Graham. Able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. They'll need a big play here with Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott able to hit his target lamb. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. He's got the 13, but he's still leading to a fourth down. 
but it brings up the money for any yards. offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing at the receiver where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short on the first down. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big hard right now. If you're a touchdown the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Hey, here, here I come. Here I come. Here I come. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. It's incomplete. Took a Wentz shot, couldn't come in. Jalen Rager, the intended target that time. And it's second down. Second and 10. 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 And now a throw here secured by his running Lances back out pass. of the backfield. Complete they do get a yard there, Sanders. but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine. The line the line the line of Eagles on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and nine. Open man, it's Rager. He's got it. Jalen the Rager. Before he's out of bounds. For an eagle. For 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. At the 41 yard line. He's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And they've got it right across midfield. Down to the 40 after it's all said and done. right at the 40. What we got, what we got, what we got. Again, it's Wentz. He'll get this to Ward. And he's tapping a yard short of the marker. Good game of nine on the first game. Right, Ward Jr. One of the future points in the end round is up being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field for the quarterback. That's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. On second down now. It's Sanders, and he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 23. He yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. First and down I think you and I have both the same way ball. in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run, and that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. For Travis second Luka. down. Incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five ten. wide receivers on the field as a defender, line. I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Right here, right here. From the gun, it's Wins. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on his third down. Incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 12-yard line. Eagles. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. First and ten at the 12-yard line. the 12, it's first and ten. Now Sanders. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Miles Sanders, the ball carrier. Just a yard on the pickup there. He was running up second and nine. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. 
at the 12-yard line. Here's Wentz to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Complete nine yards. yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. Third and one. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. And that's going to be caught for the Eagles touchdown. Second down, this time complete. Four yards to gain, and it'll bring up a third down. To C.D. Lamb. It's a gain of four. The Cowboys on third, third down. down. They've hit at 50%. Three of six to this point. This will be third and six. Prescott to throw it. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. Yeah, he will be very close to a first down. You can see the close fist to the referee. And that means fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping it from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. return. And the line. offense will take over with a new set of downs. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And they bring him to the ground just shot of midfield. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try to score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. Keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-point yard again. Bring the objective there. Yes, the positive gain. That's a nice way to watch the clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. It's tough to find a way to throw it. Well. The ball carrier. It's a pickup of three, and we and have now arrived the at the two-minute warning. That's a gain of three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. We come up here on first and ten. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The Cowboys 
signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So from the 17, here's second and seven. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the side. It's a 10-yard gain there that sets him up. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Second and third down with ball back on. On second down. It's Sanders. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Sanders It'll be a game of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Goal. Two yard line. Big play a coming here. It's third and goal. Brings up third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's across for the touchdown. That should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel intensify as they drop to two and six now on the year and they'll look 